Michigan, North Carolina. And these figures don't even include all the other projects that have been approved but not yet built in North Carolina. <clears throat> As required by law, by 2021, 4.5% of the power that Duke and Dominion sell must come from in-state solar and other in-state renewable energy resources. However, the U.S. Energy Information Administration reports that in 2017, more than 6.6% of the electricity generated in our state was non-hydro renewable, therefore exceeding the requirements that need to be met. Additionally, the electric power produced by the Wilkinson Solar Project will probably not serve North Carolina citizens. North Carolina, and in this instance, Beaufort County, is being asked to sacrifice productive farmland and the goods and services it provides to our community for the benefit of other states. It does not seem wise that North Carolina give up its valuable resources or something that isn't even going to benefit our own state. It does not seem to be in North Carolina's best interest to be the dumping ground for solar panels and the provider of renewable energy for the states to the north with its own residents having to pay the price. North Carolina is a beautiful state with many resources, citizens, and communities that need to be protected. Please take a stand and say no to the weapons and solar project. Thank you. Any questions? All right. Thank you.